Okay, join me on page 420 in your science book. Follow along. How does cost affect energy use? Scientists, government officials, and economists decide energy policy. Among the most important factors they consider in deciding which energy source to recommend are the costs and the benefits of the energy. Cost effectiveness is determined by comparing the costs and the consequences of different ways of doing something. For energy sources, this includes evaluating the cost of an energy source and the effects of using it. The source that is least expensive and causes the least damage to the environment is the most cost effective. Currently, many alternative energy sources are less cost effective than fossil fuels. The technology needed to deliver energy from them is expensive. At this time, drilling oil costs less than building solar panels, and that's slowly changing. Alternative sources also produce less usable energy than fossil fuels. However, as the cost of using newer technologies decreases and the amount of usable energy they provide increases, more people may choose to use alternative energy sources. Page 421, Efficiency. Efficiency is an important factor in determining the use of an energy source or the purchase of a new appliance. Efficiency describes the amount of usable energy given off by an energy conversion compared to the total amount of energy used in the conversion. No energy conversion is 100% efficient. Some energy is, almost, is always lost as heat released into the surrounding atmosphere. When a conversion device puts out more usable energy, it is more energy efficient. For example, some automobiles made today can travel a longer distance on a given amount of gas than automobiles made 20 years ago. Fuel efficiency is a very important consideration when people purchase cars because it determines how much the drivers will have to spend on gas. Energy efficiency also affects the cost of running appliances. Items of the same type, such as refrigerators or air conditioners, may use different amounts of energy. The least expensive appliance may not be the most efficient and it may cost more to run. In most cases, newer appliances use less energy than older ones. Okay, turning the page, page 422. What are the consequences of energy use? Using energy has various consequences, all of which are important considerations when people choose energy sources. Consequences include pollution, damage to land, and changes in the flow of waterways. Pollution is a harmful change in the natural environment. It may be the, be the release of substances that harm living things or the release of energy that disrupts an ecosystem. Pollution is usually the result of human activities. Some pollution, however, is the result of natural causes such as volcanic eruptions fossil fuels. The most plentiful fossil fuel is coal. The United States generates more than half of its electricity from coal. Coal is found either deep in the ground or near Earth's surface. About two-thirds of the coal that is mined comes from the surface through strip mining. In strip mining, layers of topsoil are peeled away, exposing the coal underneath. This process damages the land. The burning of coal and other fossil fuels in power plants, factories, and automobiles releases many pollutants. For example, some coal deposits contain large amounts of sulfur. Burning these deposits releases harmful substances such as sulfur dioxide. Moisture mixes with these substances to form an acid that can fall to Earth's surface as acid rain. Acid rain harms soil and water supplies, and it weathers statues and buildings. Pollutants in the atmosphere can also build up into thick clouds of smog. 
Okay, continuing on page 423, hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power uses the energy of falling water to produce electricity. A dam is a barrier constructed to control a flow of water or to raise a water level. Dams can hold back millions of tons of water. This water is released through pipes into a power plant where it spins the blades of turbines that power generators to produce electricity. The efficiency of hydroelectric power plants can be close to 90%. However, dams can cause harmful changes to the environment. Dam construction can flood valuable habitats. Dams can also alter the flow of rivers, interfering with flooding cycles that replenish wetlands and add nutrients to the soil. Nuclear power. A nuclear power plant is a facility that generates electricity through nuclear reactions. In this controlled chain reaction, uranium atoms are split to change the energy locked within them into heat energy. Nuclear power produces a tremendous amount of energy compared to other energy sources, and it does not produce the same kinds of pollution that fossil fuels do. Even so, disadvantages exist. The reactions create radioactive waste that can harm people and the environment. Nuclear power plants also release excess heat, often in the form of hot water introduced <clears throat> into rivers and oceans, known as thermal pollution. This release of heat can destroy habitats and kill the animals that live in them. Turning the page, continuing on page 424. What are the non-monetary costs of energy use? Your family probably receives a monthly energy bill. What would you think if you opened it up one month and saw that it charged not only for your energy usage, but also for environmental damage? What if the charges were for smog, acid rain, thermal pollution to rivers, and flooding caused by dams? This damage represents the non-monetary costs or the environmental consequences of energy use. Damage to the environment caused by air and water pollution affects all living things. Examples of non-monetary costs of fossil fuels are the pollution they generate and the long-term health problems they can cause for people. Non-monetary costs can lead to monetary costs such as the expense of repairing or cleaning up environmental damage. People need to think beyond monetary costs when deciding which energy sources to use. Even though fossil fuels are the most cost-effective energy source, they have a high non-monetary cost compared to other sources of energy, such as solar power. All right, thanks for following along. Go ahead and continue on your science lesson.